So we are joined by Friday Night SmackDown superstar, and if I can kind of do similar to what the announcer does, the Universal Champion, Mr. Meat Castle himself, Braun Strowman. Braun, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Uh, good morning. How you doing? Man, I'm doing good. And, uh, I've been up for about a couple hours already. Got out and rode my bicycle this morning. Went nine miles and did some cardio. And I think I took too much caffeine. I'm a little jittery, all fired up. Or I don't know if it's the fact that tonight we debut the Thunderdome live from the Amway Center here in Orlando on Fox at 8 o'clock. That's really what it is. I mean, let's be for real. Like, everybody in the world's talking about this. I haven't seen it. No, 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 we, don't, we don't even know what it's going to be. So, like, it's debuting tonight. Uh, Mr. McMahon himself is – coming out, opening up Fox tonight, well, or, uh, excuse me, Friday Night Smackdown on Fox tonight to, to show the spectacle that is the Thunderdome. Now, how, how excited do you have to be? Like, I've, I've talked to Drew and I've talked to Cesaro, and, I mean, the, the thing that's been missing for you guys for the last six months, I mean, minus the few months that we've had the guys in the PC, but, like, that, that live interaction with the crowd and the pyro and the lasers and just the, you know, the, the, the larger-than-life atmosphere, like, how is that going to kind of help I don't know, refuse I, them, but just, you know, bring it, bring it back. That's exactly it. It's, it's that. I mean, that, that's what drives us. I mean, it, it's, it's been a little tough mentally figuring this out through through all this stuff that's been going on with having no fans and stuff there because a lot of that dictates how, I mean, everything. Like, when the, when the place is going crazy, I, I'm invincible. I don't feel any pain. Like, you can't hurt me. When 25,000 people are screaming my name, I turn into the Incredible Hulk. So, like, now with, with the opportunity of the fans being there live via their home through the, this – unbelievable technology that WWE continues to, to figure out and push forward into the future like we've done for so many years now. Like, I literally cannot wait to, to hear the roar of the crowd again tonight, like with the people in there and stuff. I, it's going to be really cool. And, 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 and first of its kind, one of a kind. So it's really, really neat. I'm excited to, you know, just walk in there for one and check it out, how they've got it all set up. But then to when we go live with the pyro and the lasers, man, there's going to be drones. You know, I think we got everything but sharks with laser beams on their head in there tonight. So, man, definitely something you, you guys got to tune in to check out. I, like I said, I'm, I'm jacked up about it. Oh, sure, sure. And and kind of speaking on that, I'm sure you'll have some sort of encounter with your your arch nemesis Bray Wyatt, your former your former mentor in the in the Wyatt family. How how has this this feud, this thing between you guys, I mean, like, it's just, it seems like every week and every month and every event, it's just next level. And like, you've kind of seemed to have turned the tables on him in the mental games. Like, how are you trying to get that leg up on him? Because he's been pretty formidable in the last year he's been around. But here's the thing. Bray Wyatt wanted this. I told him not to. I told him that I worked for years to put this side of me away. Like, I don't like hurting people, but I like hurting people. And Bray opened a can of worms that I don't know if he's really ready for. Um, you know, uh, it's put me in a kind of a, a dark place. I've lost a lot of sleep thinking about this and the things that he's put me through. And um, I know he wants this deep down inside it's all about this and uh you know it's it's been a five-year process for me to attain this with multiple failed attempts uh i don't plan on letting go of it i don't care what he does uh this this is gonna be a war it's gonna get ugly it's two monsters coming to a head and uh i don't know if the city of orlando is gonna be standing when it's all said and done now I have to ask, an X factor in all this is is kind of Ohio native, uh, Ohio sweetheart Alexa Bliss. I mean, do you feel like she is kind of being used as a pawn in this, or or are you just kind of, you know, I you know, I, don't, I I honestly do not know what's gotten into Alexa. Um, she's she's not the person that I thought she was. People think that I'm changing. You're you're watching right in front of your eyes. I you, you can only provoke a bear for so long before it bites you. And now they want to play victim because they woke the monster up. There, there, there's obviously something going on between those two. I don't know what it is. I'm not happy about it. And unfortunately, Alexa was a casualty of war. That's what this is right now. Bray and I are at war. It is a war of our mental wits. And anyone that steps in between it is going to get caught in the crossfire. I'm sorry. It's just how it is. Uh, there's no hard feelings. There's no remorse. I am dead set on ending the fiend. 
And anyone that gets in my way, you're going to view the repercussions of the monster too. Now you've alluded to it, that, you know, this, this five-year journey and maybe even beyond with your, your previous strongman background, like how much does that championship sitting to your right mean to you? Like how much, how much does that mean to you? I mean, that, that means everything. I mean, what, top I mean, what kind of question, like, of course it's the top of the mountain. It's, it's the, it's the most prestigious thing that WWE has to offer. And, and it's no different than when I won the Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio in 2012. I fought tooth and nail against 50-something other athletes from entire in the entire world, 19 different countries. I dominated that event. I won five of the seven events, finishing second in the two that I did in by mere seconds. And I'm going to walk in Sunday to the Thunderdome at SummerSlam the exact same way. I'm walking in. I play for keeps. This is mine. I have no intention of letting go of this anytime soon. There's not one man formidable on this entire roster that has what it takes to take this from me. So tune in and find out. Doubt me. I dare you. I've been doubting my whole life. I feed off of that. The doubt is what pushes me to shut them people up and continue my path to destruction. Now, Follow up to that, you know, you are the universal champion. Now there's another brand, Brawl, they have their own champion. What, you know, the, obviously this isn't the, the glass ceiling for you. Like what, what else do you want to do, not only this year, but, but in your career? Like who are some of the guys you want to you wanna tangle with that you haven't had a chance to put those hands on? Um, there's, there's, yeah, without a doubt you said uh, the, there's a guy on the, the other brand that's holding something uh, very similar to this. And uh, He's been in my crosshairs for quite some time. Uh, you, you guys have seen we have a history. I mean, I've, ate, I've probably eaten at Claymore more than anyone in the last two years, and uh, I know how devastating it can be. You know, there'll be a day when our paths cross again. We don't want this. He's too nice of a guy. He doesn't have what it takes to down the side. To dig whatever, find inside of you that it takes to push through I'll chew him up and consume him just like I'm going to 